Questions? Well, <clears throat> just tremendous job by our guys on our team tonight. I um, thought they played extremely hard, played with an edge, a little bit of a chip on their shoulder. Um, i uh, really proud of everybody in our program. The, uh, the players especially, uh, not only the guys that played, but every scout team guy that helps us prepare, and uh, everybody else, the coaches for uh, preparing the guys, and, and uh, everybody else that's involved is a, is a really big win, obviously, and uh, we got to build on it, and we got to continue to grow, and, and everybody, it's a, obviously a great feeling in the locker room right now, and we got to use that as fuel. So uh, I think when you look at the game, Obviously, defensively, uh, creating some negative plays and, and getting some takeaways, uh, obviously, w was critical in the game. And then the offense capitalized on it. Uh, I thought we uh, created some pressure up front with, with you know, different people. And then we competed for the ball when it was in the air. And uh, offensively, I thought we just played much cleaner in terms of run game. Uh, it was a, a different look there. You know, we were positive in the run game. We were getting yard, yards there. And then Ross did a really nice job in the pass game. And then the other thing that really showed up was the field position and that special teams and, you know, offense moving the ball. And even when we had to punt, that we flipped the field on them. So special teams came up big. It was a total team win. And uh, those are the best kind because everybody had a hand in it. And uh, we just got to continue to build on that, and it, it feels good. But uh, we got to, you know, I want the guys to enjoy it. But we got to come back to work, uh, ready to get ready uh, for Arizona next week. So, okay, questions? Coach, you started to, to talk about it there about the defense. But what, what else can you say about what they were able to do tonight, uh, forcing takeaways and, yeah. and stopping down a, a really good offense? Yeah, they just thought they did a re really good job during the week. We practiced hard uh, all week, even though it was a little bit of a, a different schedule. But they they came in and prepared really well. Our coaches did an unbelievable job. Got a, they did a fantastic job putting the plan together and and uh, implementing it with those guys and the level of detail with the guys played with. And we weren't perfect, but. Uh, I thought they just competed really hard. They ran to the ball, obviously got our hands on the ball, uh, got some negative plays, and that was obviously huge in the game. So really proud of them for their, uh, you know, their preparation and, uh, and then just how hard they played. Uh, Coach, after last, after last week's game, you said you expected to learn a lot about the team. What did they show you just from a, a resilience standpoint? That they came back to work and uh, ready to – you know, prepare and, and practice really hard, and it gave us it gives us a chance. You know, it doesn't it doesn't guarantee anything, but it, it sure as that gives you a chance when you practice really hard and prepare like they did. And uh, really proud of them for that. And like I said, I think that just gives you you know things to build on, and for them to understand the importance of it. And uh, you know, it, like I said, it, they deserve good things because they they're good kids and they work extremely hard. And, and I'm really happy for for the guys on the team and and for everybody. But uh, we got like I said, we've got to continue to build on this. Justin, a couple of things. One is, uh, first, what were you thinking when you saw Ross uh, begin his flip into the end zone? And secondly, yeah. how big was it to get that touchdown right before the end of the first half to give yourself some breathing well, room? Yeah, the first, the end of the first half uh, was you know it was one yard, you know, and you know you could take the points there, but we just there was wasn't much dis there was no discussion. I wasn't you know thinking any other way. It was one yard. We got to get a yard. So play to win the game, so that was the decision. And um, executed it really well. Uh, Ross threw a good ball in the corner of the end zone, and we got a touchdown out of it. And we knew we were getting the ball to start the second half. Uh, and then Ross's play, yeah, uh, that's him. You know, that's Ross right there. You know, and you look at it, and like, what are you thinking? And then you just want to go hug him because he plays with guts, you know? And so that's what I do. You know, I appreciate that about Ross. And not always the, not the biggest guy, to be taking shots like that, but man, he's trying to get in the end zone, and you got you love him for that. Uh, Coach, you guys are four and zero now when winning the turnover battle. Can you talk a little bit about how your defense and offense tries to take care of the football, and also what they do to kind of play off each other in certain situations? Yeah. Like defense gets a big stop. Bowers is going to come out with the offense now, try to make something happen. Can you tell us a little bit about how much they play off each other as well? The, the two stats we talk about the most are. Uh, turnover margin and explosive plays and obviously that was uh, huge in the game tonight and so when you're able to create possessions for your offense and then you protect it on offense I mean that's just a lot more chances to score and obviously taking it away from them that's it's everything so if you look at 
uh, the turnover margin in the game, that's a big reason it ended up like it did. Yeah, Justin, it seemed like you guys were dropping guys um, into coverage for most of the game. One was that, did you identify something on tape during the week or at some point that that what made you, sense? What do you mean? It, it just seems like you had more guys dropping back than, than we, kind of going after the quarterback for most of the game. Well, we, we played uh, a fair, mostly four-man rush. We played a little bit of three-man rush. We, we rushed five a couple times, um, but we wanted to change up where the four were coming from. So most of it was four-man rush during the game, and uh, we just it was which four guys were coming. That's what we changed up, and so that's just part of kind of how we structure our defense. And the guys executed it well. And there's some communication things that have to happen, and uh, they did a good job communicating. And um, you know whether it was the the formation that told them what to play or the split of the receiver, those type of things. But I think it was we played our our defense, and uh, obviously great job by Tim DeRuder and Az and and Gerald and Tony Tuioti. Uh, coaching those guys up and then the kids going out and executing it. And did Bo having some success last year against these guys help at all in, in the preparations? Uh, you know, every year it's a di different team. Even if Bo is still at Eastern Washington, you know, I mean, every year it's just different. So uh, Washington State's a different team. We're a different team. So you prepare, you know, every week uh, specific to that week. And I wouldn't say that that changed anything, no. Coach, Vic had seven carries in the first half, but it ended the game with 22. Was that part of the game plan to set up the run through the pass in the first half, or was that something in a, a halftime adjustment that you saw that you guys wanted to run a bit more? Well, a lot of it had to do with how the game was playing out. We, we were able to uh, generate a, a lead, and then to be able to run the football with a lead is huge. And we did that, and Vic ran hard, and really excited to see that from Vic. Really proud of him, because it hadn't – you know, kind of had his moments here and there throughout the season. But tonight, we needed him, and he ran hard, and he ran behind his pads, and he moved the pile, and that was awesome. But it's important that you're able to run the ball when you have a lead because that changes the dynamics of the game because now you're playing how many possessions can they get. If we can keep the ball, you're obviously they don't have it and can't score. So a lot of it had to do with how the game played out and the fact that we were being you know successful running the ball. Our O-line did a great job, and, and Vic ran behind his pads. It was great. A win like this against a top 10 team, what can this do to help build what, what you're trying to do here with this program? Well, I think it's, you got to learn from every experience, and these are a lot more enjoyable to learn from, you know? And uh, I think it, uh, you know, it just shows them that the preparation and the things they're doing uh, before they get to the game, uh, it'll pay off, you know? We, gotta, we still got to be better. There's going to be things on this tape that we got to clean up and be better. But man, it's, it's obviously more enjoyable to learn those lessons when you win. And I'm really proud of how they fought and they played with an edge and a chip on their shoulder. And you need that. And that's got to be you know, one of the characteristics of our team. And I was really excited to see that tonight because you felt it on the sidelines. You felt it during the game. And uh, that, was, that was good. And we can build on that. Uh, first of all, Coach, congratulations on the win. This is actually Kyle's first win against a top 10 opponent since Aaron Rodgers was quarterback, so congratulations. But um, how does this next man up mentality affect the, affect the Bears since coming into the game, a laundry list of injuries, no, no Demetrius Robertson, no Patrick Laird. In the middle of the game, Devontae Downs leads, uh, leaves, with an, with, excuse me, leaves with an injury. How does this next man up mentality affect this team? Well, uh, it's unfortunate. You hate losing anybody. Uh, you feel for the guys that get hurt, and it's a, you know, uh, we want nothing more than to have everybody healthy, and uh, you feel for them. But that's part of football, and the next, that's why the other guys practice. And so, you know, you mentioned some guys, and, and other people have stepped up and found a way to help our team, and uh, I think it just speaks to their character and the preparation, because it's, you know, it's, easy to stay plugged in mentally all the time when you're the starter and you know you're getting the reps but when you're the two or the three and you don't get to play as much it's you know it's a ch more of a challenge and we talk about that all the time because you never know when your time's coming and we had guys had to step up tonight and I think it just speaks to the character of those guys and their preparation and um, uh, again just I'm excited for them to get the opportunity uh, as much as we hate losing people but uh, really proud of them. Uh, Coach uh like you were saying, uh, Devontae went down, but uh, Garen Brown came in. How would you assess how he did in Devontae's stead? Yeah, Garen's helped us uh, throughout the season. He's a really, really smart guy. He knows what's going on. He's an instinctive player, and uh, he did some good things tonight. We'll see from the tape. You know, he did some really good things. Obviously, he had the 
the scoop, and uh, Jordan Kanashik helped him out on that one. But, uh, you know, uh, really, really proud of him and Garen and, and his preparation and being ready to play. And he's always that's, – he's been that way since we've been here. So um, I'm happy for him to, to have that success. And, and he'll still get coached, you know, uh, for, off the tape. But uh, there's, there's a number of guys. He's one of them, but, but a number of guys that kind of in that same boat that just stepped up when their name was called. The guys on the defensive line came out firing from the first snap. You talked about playing with a chip on your shoulder. Was there an element of trying to prove themselves after the, after the last two games? Well, I, yeah, I think everybody was eager to get back out and play. I mean, I, we felt that Sunday night when, when everybody came back in here and, and worked out. And then Monday when we hit the field for our f first full practice this week, I think we felt that. And, and that's encouraging, you know, as much as, as hard as it is to, to lose and go through those tough times when you don't play as well as you know you can. And, uh, but to be able to come back and continue to work and continue to, uh, you know, show up mentally and emotionally every day. And uh, they did that. And that was encouraging. And I think they were excited to get back on the field and play again. To generate the kind of pressure that you did late in the third quarter and then in the fourth quarter, all without Devontae, what does that tell you about, about your defense and about the guys behind him? Yeah, again, uh, never like, you know, never want to lose anybody. But uh, I thought uh, the guys did a good job of understanding what we were trying to do and, you know, what the protections we were trying to work against and the kind of some of the games and bl blitz packages we were using. Uh, and that goes, the coaches did a great job implementing it with them and then they went out and executed it and they did it. Uh, you know, more consistently and, and uh, obviously got some pressure on them and made the quarterback uncomfortable at times, which is it's huge, especially going against an offense like that. So Time for about two more questions or so. Go ahead. Coach, you had a, a – your DBs played quite a few good wide receivers leading up to this point. Can you talk about their development and how much they've come along, especially yeah. the younger guys like Drayden and Bynum? Yeah, I think just the more and more they play, you could talk about a lot of those guys, really all of them. Uh, in the secondary and, and Gerald Alexander does a great job coaching them and they you know every meeting there's something new to work on and, and they're continually working at their craft and it's uh, you know I'm not surprised to see them grow like that because I get to watch them practice every day and um, it was great they were excited because they knew the ball was going to be in the air you know when you're a DB and you play against an offense like that you know, your juices usually get flowing because you know they're going to throw it up and uh, so they were excited about it um, and I, I thought they did a really nice job of kind of disguising things. Uh, I mean, early in the game, you know, Cam Bynum had a, a play we kind of talked about all week, and it was a little bit of a new coverage, and, and he played it great and got an interception off of it. So uh, I just think all those guys are growing with every rep they get and every practice, and we just got to continue to do that. I'm going to answer it. If, you're in, if you come to our meeting that happens, we answer it. Just for 